And we're back with the sixth annual Sloth Ironman Games. This is Mother Sloth. This is Two Toad Tom. And Teresa Pedro. And they say hi, hi, hi to everyone because he's the high biscuits, you know. Alright, this is Daniel back for the Sloth Ironman Games. So here we have Anna, who supported us. Helga! Hey, what are we supporting Anna? Here we go. But she presents to us and what you know. Yeah, that makes sense. Perfect. <laughs> and then over here we have Stephanie. Stephanie, and you're supporting? Helga, of course. And what is supporting Helga? Well, because Helga has the right attitude of sloth to have. I've seen many uh, sloths there in the elementary that want to be fast, that are always active. Helga, she is always sleeping. She understands what being a sloth is really about. So I believe she'll get the goal. I agree, perfect. Hey, Anna, what are you most excited about these games? Uh, the needle, definitely. For sure. All right, back to the field. Nice support for Helga there. Hello everyone, Gaspar here, one of the sloth leads from last year's Iron Man Games. I am here to remind you that every behaviour you see in the games is perfectly natural and a part of enrichment and training for each sloth's eventual release back into the wild. Having finished third after so much preparation, I am convinced I was set up. I believe the ghostly trio is behind where I finished and I am determined to prove it. I've been spending all of COVID re-watching the footage and examining it for evidence. If you would like to see my proof, please check out my TikToks on Otherworldly Tampering, which I'm very happy to say have hundreds of views and are gaining traction. I will have my justice. Controversial. I tell you what, I have watched those TikToks in very, very intriguing. Fascinating. All right. The first one to finish the flowers wins. You know, Pretty this standard. Should be a simple task. Do it all the time. Oh, Amala's looking, looking ready. Oh, how? Oh, 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 oh! She's very, very intrigued. I hope they save some room for this challenge. Oh, oh she, she kind of looks like a bit of a delicate eater. You see, some of them they absolutely just annihilate it, but yeah, a more, bit more delicate with Amala. Oh yeah. You're not supposed to enjoy it. Get to it. Oh, the fast boarding. We know that that's going to be a bad time. The technology. Oh, this is making me hungry. <laughs> oh, fi finally pulls it away. Took a tumble. Oh, that bit, a few petals on the nostrils. Hopefully, that's not going to affect her breathing. You know, breathing is very important when you eat. A double fast forward. Oh, oh that's wow. Delicious. Does she have to finish every last morsel? There we go. There we go. She's done. Uh, bit on her nose. A One minute twenty-two. Little bit of leftovers on her nose. Oh, Referee's inspecting the flowers. Got to make sure there's no extra bugs on there. And of course, with flowers, you know, you got to watch out for pesticides to go and make sure that beforehand. That's not the case. And with an E, let's see how you do this. They have a whole garden. She started with her hand on the flower. It's yeah. Again, I think too delicate. Oh gosh, I, I was expecting someone to put almost the entire flower in their mouth first off, but guess not. Thumbs up. Okay, let's see. Almost done. Last, One last more pedal. I think it's going to be faster. And finish. Back. Oh, two forty. That was some incredible wow. fast forwarding. We really have no concept of time, do we? Yeah, that no, was much clearly. Longer. Yeah, of course, we were hoping for it to be all expenses paid so we could be out there and watch this, but unfortunately, the budget didn't cover that this year. <laughs> and here goes Helga. Oh, Helga. Let's see if you can redeem yourself as a cat. No, she, she's not even got it in her oh, mouth she yet. She can't even hardly grip the flower. Helga sounds to me like a bison I would think so. But of course, with the fast forwarding, we don't know how quick, how much they're fast forwarding. This could be 30 seconds, this could be 10 minutes, we really don't know. Truly time is meaningless. <laughs> kind of like with the sloth's normal life. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Oh, no. oh, she's lost control, she's lost control. Oh, no. no she's still left some of it. Is that, yeah, is that right. eaten enough for the rest of it? Finally done. What's this going to be? Asleep, so. See, right, 156 says, so this, I thought this was going to be longer than I am. Yeah. That was certainly better than her. Oh, oh rejected flower. the flower. Oh, that There's does look like a good flower. There's 26 people per bush All right. growing Paros. these flowers during the year. 
Wow. Fascinating. That is fascinating. And here we yeah, go. Yeah, a lot, a lot of preparation goes into this. I sure hope Kairos can uh, redeem themselves. Yeah, after being disqualified. Seems like there's some mocking from the ref. Looking and laughing. I can't, can't help the confidence. Eyes closed. Clear heart. This looks more like enjoyment rather than competition. Well, but at least he's going to finish the flower, I think. No. Oh, gosh. This is never a good time. Yeah. Oh. I believe we seem to be cutting from a flower that has loads of petals back to a flower that has only one petal. <gasps> there we go. Oh. Ooh. At least not a disqualification. Not the, not the best showing, but yeah. Very wow, great. Amalur is really uh, kicking some butt. Oh gosh, Amalur's building a steady lead. Are we allowed to say butt? I think so. Alright. Make sure to tune in for the next competition. Oh, we got a winky oh, yeah. face. Well, Cheeky wink. Looking forward to that. <laughs> That's also a terrifying <laughs> single eye. And don't forget to donate. That's the whole purpose of these games. Support Sloth returning to the wild. <laughs>